what's up guys this is brian at whisper status 74 welcome to the community welcome to the channel today will be a best buy walkthrough video i haven't done one of these in over a month as it's been more difficult to film in store more uncomfortable to film in store and truthfully there was never really a great deal to show you since things actually began to open as the stores had very few new things to show you um, so i said i wouldn't do many of these it's been over a month since i've done the last one it is very hot out tops off doors are off and you can see best buy is behind me somewhere in there but i want to do a quick video and show you what's in store and many of you are seeing more of the panels that are new here or in value electronics or i mean here is on youtube and less in store and we'll show you today what is actually in store the reason i went in ironically enough was to buy one of my favorite movies of all time on 4k blu-ray i pre-ordered this on amazon about a month and a half ago and it came up as delivery pending meaning i wasn't going to have it today so it does still show you that physical stores brick and mortar stores are still worth it to a degree i'm able to get this film one of my favorite movies of all time i cannot wait to um, watch this on 4k blu-ray but i did these videos to go in so you don't have to and i know you guys miss them i want to bring you another quick one there isn't a ton to show you but i still want to bring you one make you smile let you guys know that i am thinking of you i'm putting out as much content as i possibly can this will be the third video in a row we have the value electronics shootout coming out this weekend i want to finish up strong i have my panel all is well with me i hope all is well with you let's go into the store love you guys All right, guys, we are going to kick it off to one of my favorite panels from last year, which is the Sony ZAH 8K LED from last year. One of my very favorites. We're going to be jumping around a lot in this video. Um, you have an AAH here and a 950H. A lot of older displays are mixed in, which we're going to discuss at the end of this video. There's very little to show you here in store. I do recommend the ZAH though. It is down in price, but it's not dropping enough. It needs to drop a bit more. Um, here to me is what you'll see hopefully at the AK shootout. This is the LG ZX. I do believe if this is involved in the shootout, which I think it is, I do find this to be our overall winner in the AK 4K contest. I believe the A90J wins the 4K one. Now we're here with Sony's lineup. You have an X90J, a 950H. You have the um, XE. You have in a 80j at the top you know you have a lot of panels you have you know two three new ones an older one on the right and that's kind of the issue that we're seeing in store here is having panels that are from last year still kind of hanging around though we're you know getting through this year rather quickly the dates have been so staggered the x90j was out way before the x95 which isn't even here which is the successor to the 950h now i'll show you some of the prices here and there where they are labeled we will have a tech therapy video attached to this one on if you're comfortable uh, purchasing displays online without seeing them in person. That'll be at the 10 or 11 minute mark. Sony panels do look very good. What you're going to see on the right of us is LG, which you'll have. Oh, actually, we'll jump here to the Vizio. There's only one Vizio here uh, that is even on display it's hidden in the corner this is the 55 inch oled very disappointed in vizio the last couple of years as far as bringing their um clarity to what their lineup even is anymore everything is all mixed together you have here your uh, c1 and i believe that's the new a1 but lately you haven't had the stickers always matching what's on display And then to the right of that, you have the 83 inch C1, which I have at home now, which talking about size, guys, I will say that in store, that panel does not look anywhere near as huge as it does at home. To the right are just nano cells. I was hoping to see some of the QNED lineup. Um, they're not here. Nanos aren't the most impressive LGs. Don't know why they would not have the QNED 8K lineup and their 4K lineup. Now, Samsung has, as always, all of their panels here. 
Uh, they do have a Q90T here mixed up, but they do have the Q900A, which is a gorgeous panel. Very impressed with the Q85A, actually. Again, we're hoping that the QN90A above it is actually QN90A, but the Q85A actually looks a bit more saturated. But the Q900A, I think, is the best looking panel in terms of its display. Like its design is absolutely gorgeous. The bezel is non existent. Leans back a little bit. I do like the center stand still, but I do love its design. Something also you need to see in person. They have the frame over to the right, as you can see in the corner. And, you know, Samsung has typically been very good about having all their panels together. This year, it was a bit of a mix and match, but they were still the best as far as having their products in. Um, it wasn't until recently the CX was still there uh, with the BX from last year. Um, very little C1, no G1. But we're looking at Samsung's lineup here, Neo QLED lineup. There is an 800A in the back. But this panel has gotten very popular is the 85, which I think looks fantastic. Now trying to get them both in shot is very difficult. But to me, Samsung still has the best lineup in terms of them displaying them so you can actually see them. For the most part. Again, they were very late to bringing the Q900A. Even the QN90A took forever to get in stock uh, to show on display. Some of my favorite Best Buy moments were walking in and actually seeing the Q9FN and the QKS9800 uh, and be like, wow, I wish I had that. And don't really feel that as much you know, when you see, again, people have the panels way before the store does. Take another look at the Q9900A, and again, I keep getting drawn back the Q85, Q85. Just keep getting drawn back to it. It's just very, very deep. I'd love to see the settings on both these panels. And here we are looking again at the LG Gallery. Um, again, I'm calling this if it's allowed to be in the shootout. I believe it is because it's basically like a master series. It covers a couple years, and since we didn't have the AK shootout last year, I do feel you're looking at your winner. Here is the LG ZX at 8K, and I do believe 4K will be the A90J Master Series. But I apologize that this portion is so short, which is why I'm attaching a tech therapy video to the end of it. Uh, but again, there's very little to show you. Nothing from TCL, nothing from Hisense, very little from Vizio. What a beautiful picture. The ZX is just very, very rich. Beautiful, beautiful image. Again, 8K, but it just has a very rich image to it. Even when I had it by side by side at the A90J, I gave the ZX the um, the nod as far as I thought it was much richer as far as its color, which is beautiful. All right, guys, thank you. We'll see the second portion starting um, in a few seconds. Just want to show you the Q800, which is on sale on the other side. And again, the pricing for these panels is very close together, which makes it even harder for you guys to make a purchase. But I will let myself take over here. We'll talk more about would you buy without seeing. Also, this quick terrace display from Samsung. Very bright, very, very interesting. Um, it has like a foamy feel to it, but it was uh, pretty cool looking and it was very, very bright. I've seen them before, but I wanted to show you guys one. All right, guys, here I go on the other part of the video. Take care. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for the second part of the video. The first part was obviously the Best Buy walkthrough. The reason those videos have become so scarce and so short, it's become increasingly uncomfortable to film and store. There are less customers. There are more employees. People are definitely more sensitive to being caught on camera due to privacy and whatnot, which is completely understandable. The biggest reason, though, is there's very little to show you within store. A lot of the panels that we were waiting for um, were very delayed to show up in store, even though they were released. People on YouTube had them, um, and Best Buy still doesn't have them. They didn't end up with some of them. Even companies like Samsung, which are typically 
31st, um, have not released their AK panels until recently when I had done a video on them almost two months ago. So it's very hard for the consumer. And you guys more than ever have to rely on written reviews, YouTube, Twitter, you know, whatever it is that you find your information, which I think is the best information because it's more visual and you have uh, reviewers like myself talking about different points of it. But my question to you is, are you comfortable with that? Are you comfortable making these purchases without seeing the panel, without getting your hands on the panel? This is a bit of a tech therapy portion of this video that I'm adding to the um, end of the Best Buy video. And what I want to talk about is the sight unseen purchasing of items is not new you purchase a lot of things that way on amazon and all types of e-commerce you see something clothing over the years someone like oh, i like that shirt i'll buy it i'll try it on we're talking about very large purchases we're talking about displays being one of the appliances that are visual they don't look exactly like this in person they're not as saturated they're not as blue they're not as colorful they're more colorful they're less colorful they're not as clean they're not as sharp. It all depends on the camera, who is showing it to you, and even hearing the person speaking is their point of view. So again, my question to you is making a large purchase, not just your TCLs and your Hisense and smaller panels. I'm talking about buying something like what you see behind me, which is an 83 inch C1 or what I have upstairs, which is a 77 inch A80J. And that is my... Um, my dilemma for you. Now, I have the advantage of being close to Value Electronics. We are very good friends. I see these panels in person. I spend hours with them. I know them thoroughly. However, I do not spend a lot of time with Hisense, TCL, Vizio. Now, I've spent time with them in the past, but buying those panels for me is definitely a leap of faith, which is difficult as they are bargain brands or they're at that different tier. Build quality uh, processing is definitely a concern. But the more concerning thing other than them, we'll get back to them, is you're also seeing Sony, Samsung, and LG not really having their products in store either, which is why these this, uh, videos in Best Buy, I should say, are concerning. There is very little to show you. There was portions in there where you saw the X90J, which d arrived recently. You saw an AAH. You saw a X950H from last year. You saw all these panels that are mixed together. Um, there's a ZAH on the other side, no sign of a Z9J, an A90J, which is their largest seller. Um, a lot of disorganization, not really something I blame Best Buy for. The stores and the uh, actually the manufacturers are responsible in many ways for what they show. Samsung has always been first with their flagships. Their flagships are typically out before you can buy them. This year, the 950 TS was there until recently. Now, this was a Norwalk Best Buy. This is also um, about a half an hour from the one I typically go to. They have a larger selection than the one that I typically go to in Trumbull. And finally, they had the Q900A, which you saw today, which is a gorgeous panel. And definitely a selling point is that panel's display, the design, the body. It's bezel-less, something you can't really see online, and it's hard to see in video. But if you're walking in the store and the 950 TS is still there, the Q90T, Q90Rs are laying around, it's very hard for someone to make a real choice. So um, the fact that Vizio and those guys have been like that more and more, Vizio you could see in Costco over the years, the Quantum P-Series was there. They're not even there now. Um, stores like BJ's, they have the very low, low end Vizios or the very um, entry level Hisense and TCLs. But in this Best Buy, there was the um, very baseline Hisense, a Fire TV. Other than that, there was nothing in regards to their AK lineup, their mini LED lineups, uh, dual cell 
UAG, anything from last year wasn't even there. Um, I remember the mini LEDs from TCL, the R635, I never really saw in store. I saw the 8 Series from last year, last year, uh, from two years ago, last year. And that's hard for you guys to even know what's what. Now, most of you that watch these channels and channels like mine already know your stuff. But that is a question I am putting to you. Are you comfortable buying these displays without actually seeing them or even hearing them for those of you that don't use a soundbar or surround sound? Me personally, I am not. Build, build quality is very important to me. Um, how panels look. Plenty of QLED panels don't seem more colorful sometimes in person once you have them home. Uh, the interface is very important as we saw in the Hisense Dual Cell. Definitely a step behind these other panels. The remotes, how quality are they? Visually, how much do you like the actual design, which is important, how it looks in your house? For me, the answer is no, I'm not super comfortable. We'll do a separate video on uh, YouTubers, including myself. But for me, or what I'd advise for you guys is do as much research as you possibly can. Meaning, um, YouTubers like me, larger smaller the largest there's no one i would tell you not to listen to i think you should listen to us all take a little bit from each person and then go and find even the user reviews some people that have maybe no subscribers or a fewer subscribers and just actually have the display itself and first started shooting then do your larger manufacturers then your flat panels hd your cnet digital trends the guys that you really trust go back to them and then do your research that way the reason why i say that is you're doing your research visually almost as if you were in person and that's the best thing about what we offer but definitely keep an open mind don't listen to anything a hundred percent whether it's me or anybody else come up with your own findings but i really really want to know if you were more comfortable or not comfortable and you are comfortable now or um, are you just feeling like there's no choice this isn't just because of what's happened in our world this was happening anyway i think it's too expensive for a lot of these manufacturers to put their flagships in store as i mentioned this best buy didn't have the z9j didn't have the a90j the a80j was smaller but you did see a zx which is now going to be two years old which is there which is a twenty thousand a twenty thousand dollar panel at 77 inches it's rare to see that in store i highly doubt you'll see more of that whether it's the manufacturer or the store whoever is to uh, make that decision it's just interesting, and I really want to know what you guys think. These are large purchases, and the thing about us as reviewers or YouTubers is we won't have everything or anything for very long. This is my panel. This is brand new. It's 83 inches. I can't guarantee you I'll have it in two years. I can't guarantee that I won't sell it and move on to something else. For me, this is a large purchase. So is the A80. They'll both be here for a while, especially the A80, which is my family display. But for most reviewers, they have them for a few months or a few weeks. They send them back. You can't really... Um, make that purchase in the way that you think they're keeping it forever reviewers can't keep things large reviewers only have things for a few hours at times they review them they send them out because they have other work to do my point is trust them but don't trust them like they're buying it themselves and they're keeping it themselves because they're going to have different panels from time to time so you have to take information from us all yes this is my personal display i will have it so is the one upstairs i've had other play displays that i've been lent to me from value electronics and other reviewers have them lent or they buy them but the point is you have to figure out who you trust who you like the information that you may want to hear and may not want to hear and then draw your own conclusion because i think the days of going into a store and actually tangibly be able to get your hands on a remote or a display are basically gone. I mean, even 4K Blu-rays, things of that nature are disappearing, but being able to go into a store and to get your hands on the remote, go through the picture settings and actually have them grab some DVDs for you and go through some content, I do feel that that time is done. What do you think? What are your thoughts? 
Um, are you someone that wasn't comfortable that now is like, yeah, I don't care. Um, now just think, I want to add this food for thought. Some of these panels are huge. Having them delivered to you, having the whole process is not easy. Returning them is not easy. And I will tell you that the policy for turns for a lot of these companies has changed, especially when you get things that are five, six thousand dollars $6,000. They don't want to hear other than it's cracked. They will never want to hear that you don't like it. So I know the policy of many places are, hey, within 15 days or 30 days. A lot of times that's not no questions asked when they're this big and this expensive. Um, um, this is also something that's going to be hard for you to put in a truck. So you have to give a lot of thought. But I think that all depends also on the smaller panels because it all depends on value for you. Whatever is expensive for one person might not be for another, but that might be a 55-inch purchase for you where you grab a TCL or... And again, these panels, uh, TCL, Hisense, they are getting more expensive. And I did mention that in my... Uh, I know I'm all over the place. I did mention that in my dual cell preview is if I ever have a chance to talk to Hisense or any of those guys is... Your panels are now getting larger and they are more expensive. You have 75 inch Hisense dual cell is only in one size. You do have TCL's 8K lineup. They are more expensive. They're not just go to Walmart, throw it in your car. So I think that they do need to have these uh, stores, even if they're just fulfillment centers, have them as galleries for your highest end and your mid end. I should think that TCL should have their newest models, Hisense their newest models, Vizio their newest models. Because word of mouth is fine on YouTube, but the casual buyer has no idea what they're looking at. They walk into the store. Is that a Sony? Yes, that's a Sony. Okay, I'll take it. They buy a 950H. They buy a 900H, not knowing that there's even new models out half the time as they're all mixed together. Now, when you walk into Best Buy, you see the kiosk. Um, where it says LG, Sony, Samsung. From what I understand, the manufacturer is responsible or at least tells you where they want them. It's a blueprint that they have to follow. However, in the other side, they're just thrown together and all the Best Buys are doing that with what was on display before, which I totally understand. The problem is delineation, not knowing what's what, not separating what's what, not knowing what to purchase. So that's where we are valuable but, you know, we can also have our own uh, trust issues. Who do you trust? Who do you like? Then there's the comments to discuss. All the people in the comments that will run wild and either give you great information or be completely toxic. So that's a lot for you guys to do in terms of uh, research. When I was getting into this, there was like two or three, you know, brand uh, magazines with a popular mechanics. One of those that you trusted, CNET, David Katzemeyer, those guys. All right, cool. He likes it. I'll go pick it up. Now you have a thousand of us. You still have your written reviews from, like, again, Flat Panels HD, uh, you know, Forbes does reviews. Go through all of them, do some, you know, jumping into the comments, see what people think. The minute they get toxic, I would just stop listening and then, you know, again, check us out. But let me know what you think. I know this video has gotten longer. The Best Buy portion was unfortunately very short. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Love you guys. Thank you as always. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.